Hey guys, in this video we have a few different websites that pay you to read. The first type of jobs are doing this via email, so you get paid to basically read promotional emails. One company that does this is called Inbox Dollars. So they have all sorts of different things you can do. You can also get paid to play games, shop online, take surveys. They give you $5 for signing up as well. So when you sign in here, you have all sorts of different things you can do. As you can see, I actually have $32 I could still cash out with. And then you have different offers, surveys, games you can play. You can shop online and get cash back. You can get paid to search and you can get paid to refer friends. Now, when you go to the email section, they have a mailbox section where basically you read special offer emails and then you get paid a certain amount for each one that you read. One really thing, really good thing I like about this company is they don't tell you how much something pays in points and then you have to convert the points for money like a lot of these sites do. This actually just tells you straight up how much you earn in dollars. So they also have a pretty highly rated app, which is four out of five stars on Android. They also have a surveys version of their app on Apple. Another company that pays you for reading promotional emails is called Fusion Cash, which is at fusioncash.net. They also have a $5 sign up bonus and you can get paid to watch videos, click things like emails, do different online tasks, mobile apps, try them out. You have games you can play and you can also refer people as well. And then you can just kind of check out the website. I don't believe they have a mobile app though. So you'll have to do this on probably a desktop or maybe a iPad or something like that. Now we also have some companies that will pay you to read books and review them. One of them is called Kirkus Reviews, which is at kirkusreviews.com. And you can go here and become a book reviewer. You can pretty much do this anytime, anywhere. Um, but when you do sign up for these, you may have to get this book done in a certain length of time. So they're looking for book reviewers of English and Spanish language titles to review for Kirkus Indie, which is a book review magazine section dedicated to self-published authors. The reviews are in the same format and held to the same high standards as other sections of Kirkus Reviews. They need to be about 350 words due two weeks after the book's assignment. So if you can get it done in two weeks after a book's assignment and write a review in 350 words, I mean, you could probably just take some notes and have chat GPT write it for you. Uh, Kirkus currently reviews nearly all genres of books in all sorts of links, digital, hardcover, and paperback format. So you can submit your re resume and writing samples here and do that. And apparently they pay around $50 per review. Another one you can do this that pays $5 to $60 per review is at onlinebookclub.org. And for this one, you're given a selection of books to choose. The books are free for you in exchange for a review. After your first approved review, you will be eligible to get paid for the reviews as well. And this is never any cost to you. There's, this is completely free to you as a reviewer. You do not have to say you love the book. If you didn't, you are being paid for an honest, quick review, not a positive review. Again, five to $60 per review at onlinebookclub.org. And usually they have like a 400 word minimum on how long it needs to be. Another one that pays you for reading books is actually PublishersWeekly.com. And at Publishers Weekly, they have all sorts of freelance reviewer jobs available. If you just check their job section, you should be able to find something on a pretty regular basis. Right now they have two different book reviewer jobs. One of them is remote in the United States. One of them is remote in New York. And typically, you know, they will pay you around $25 per review. That's just what it's been in the past, but obviously it can vary depending on which one of these you're applying for. This one, for instance, is a minimum experience one zero to one years. And of course it's a contract type of job. So you're not really guaranteed to do this for a long-term thing. It's not something you want to rely on, but they pay you to review books and they have like a job listing section at jobzone.publishersweekly.com. Another way you can get paid to read online is by doing voiceover work. This can include a lot of different types of things. This can include, you know, for instance, reading ads. It can, it can be a narrator of an ebook. It can be something like you are, you know, playing a part for a character in a YouTube video and you're reading a script for that. It could be a lot of different things. So one place that's one of the biggest websites in the world for this is called voices.com. You can go to voices.com slash jobs to find all sorts of jobs available. 
And you have like, again, all sorts of different things. It could be from pretty much anything where there would be a character who needs a certain type of voice and they pay you $100 to $250 for around 30 seconds or less than a page of script reading. And you basically just sell your voiceover services here. They also have commercials as well, which sometimes pay thousands of dollars per gig. And so you have a really good range of voice services here. It's not just one thing where it's like narration only or something like that. So you can see they have animation voiceovers, they have audiobooks and podcasting, e-learning and educational content, video narration, IVR and phone systems, radio, online ads, voice over for online videos, social media ads, and web content, all sorts of different things available here. And usually you get paid on a, you like usually on like a weekly basis, depending on how active you are, but you get paid via PayPal. Another place you can find voiceover work, kind of just doing things on your own time is at fiverr.com. So here you can just go and you just set up a gig. So you would go to become a seller at the top there and just set up a gig where people come to you for prepaid amounts of money and you sell your services. Instead of having to apply for something, the people who wanna hire you come to you instead. So you could just go to voiceover here or voice actor or something like that and then type that in and see what other types of gigs are on here, how much other people are charging and what kind of rates you could expect to make depending on you know how you think you compare to some of these other gigs. But you could just kind of average out some of the top rated gigs here see kind of what their profile looks like and then basically model your profile after the top ones on here. You can also find voiceover work and things like that at upwork.com. You can just go here and you can search for projects for instance or you can search for jobs and you can look for you know anything that has to do with voiceover work here and just see what kind of things they have available. So this one for instance voiceover artist for a short video, $33 to $60 per hour. You have something on here, you know, like needed for a short Christian social media ad. They have a budget of around $100 and looking for someone to do one minute voiceovers. I mean, you get paid really good money for voiceovers. You can easily get paid, you know, $100 for an hour of work. Another type of way you can get paid to read is to read news on an app called Buzzbreak. They also have funny videos and things like that as well. But they're kind of known for like reading news. So when it comes to an app where you can get paid, this has 3.5 out of five stars, 10 million plus downloads. And you can, again, you get paid to read breaking news articles and watch videos as well. So if you like just consuming content, you wanna make like an extra dollar here or a dollar there for just reading news and stuff, you can make a little bit of extra money on the side with Buzzbreak. Now you can also get paid to read your favorite content online using browsers. Now you have something like brave.com, you can download the Brave browser here. Brave is a very private and secure browser. They're trying to compete with Firefox and Google and things like that to provide another alternative that's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a lot of features built in, you know, for privacy and security. And it also helps you know, minimize ads and stuff more, but you can actually get paid in crypto, which they have called basic attention token. And it's basically a cryptocurrency that they pay for your attention. Now you have to have an uphold crypto account to be able to collect this. I had to learn that the hard way. I was wondering why I wasn't able to collect my money with this. But for this particular company, if you do have, if you do create an uphold account or you're able to collect crypto, you can earn BAT, which is basic attention token. You can also send that attention token to your favorite content creators as a way of kind of donating as well, or you can just kind of collect it for yourself. But they have a very highly rated app. If you check the search volume, they've been going up in popularity over the years. We've seen people like Major podcasters like Joe Rogan say that they use them, but 4.7 out of five stars on Android. They also have a 4.8 out of five star rating on Apple. Another browser that will pay you to read your favorite content online is using the Microsoft Rewards program for the Bing search engine. And this is going to use obviously Microsoft Edge. So if you use Microsoft Edge combined with Bing as a browser, you can sign into the Microsoft Rewards program and get paid in Microsoft points 
to use their browser. It's just another way they're trying to compete with Google. You can use those points for pretty much anything in the Microsoft Store. So you're not getting paid with you know straight dollars that you can use anywhere, but the Microsoft Store has all sorts of different things like tech, video games, and all sorts of other stuff you can spend it on. And another browser you can get paid to use is called Cocoon, which is at getcocoon.com. They're kind of like a brave alternative type of thing where you can get paid um, to use their browser, but also it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be very secure. And some people have claimed they can make anywhere from $150 to $300 a year via PayPal using this. But basically they tell you that the pitch for them is they tell you that you're getting paid for your data instead of just giving your data away for free like you do on Google and, and Microsoft Edge and some of these others that are collecting your data anyway, but not really paying you for it. So the last way you can get paid to read is through proofreading services. So if you have some skills at proofreading, you have really good grammar, you can get paid to go to websites like proofreading.org and get paid up to around $30 per hour to proofread content for people. So you can go to about, go to careers at proofreading.org, which is the website for Cambridge proofreading. And here you can get paid to do remote editing and proofreading services. So you get to edit documents from your own areas of expertise and interest, work from anywhere in the world, and set your own schedule. They pay you 20 to $30 per hour, twice per month. You have access to their resource library, full control over your orders, and flexibility for your schedule. They do require that you have a good understanding of English, some prior editing experience, stable internet, and the ability to consistently meet deadlines. It would really set you apart if you had an advanced degree, expertise in STEM, business, computer science, economics, and law, or experience in academic editing or publishing at a university faculty. So you also just kind of receive proposals and jobs via email. You pick the ones you like and you get paid either via PayPal or direct deposit. Another company like that that pays you for proofreading services and, and reading all sorts of different types of literature, or not really literature, but you know, publishings or drafts that you need to basically edit the grammar for and things like that is Scriber.com. You can go and do this in either Dutch, German, English, or French. And as a freelance editor here, you can get paid to do pretty much the same thing I was talking about with Cambridge proofreading. And you're getting to pretty much accept orders that you like or don't like. You know, you can decline the assignments you don't want to do. And you can earn an average of 145 euros for reviewing a 10,000 word thesis, for instance. And you can just kind of develop and grow your skills as a proofreader here. So they do have a wait list right now. So if you want to sign up for this, you'll have to join a wait list, but they do require a bachelor's degree or higher. And they want you to have an interest in a wide range of subjects and not just one particular one. You need some skills in Microsoft Word and availability to edit 10,000 words per week. Preferred would be prior academic editing experience, pre freelance and remote work experience and interest in a long-term collaboration. Now another one is scribindy.com. You can go to scribindy.com slash jobs. This is another proofreading and editing services company. You wanna go to their freelance positions more specifically. So here, they want you to have a university degree in a relevant field, at least three years of editing experience or writing, document production, or language teaching, something like that. Native level English ability, excellent reading comprehension skills, and ability to follow written instructions and work independently. Be absolutely fanatical about meeting deadlines. You have an average editing or proofreading speed of 1,000 to 1,500 words per hour, which again, with not modern technology and AI like ChatGPT, you should be able to do this very quickly. Microsoft Word 2013 or higher, uh, internet access of course, and able to accept payments in US dollars. Now you do need to read the list of where you need to be located. It's mostly US based from what I can tell with this company, but some things that are preferred here, a graduate degree in, a degree in a relevant field, access to additional word processing and document production software, and maybe some in-depth knowledge of one or more style guides. Also, the, you are a contractor here. You are not an actual employee. And then last but not least, we have a company called proofreadingservices.com. Another one where you can get paid pretty good money to do uh, proofreading services here. And if you go to online proofreading jobs at this company, you can get paid to work full or part-time doing services, apparently that pay you anywhere from 19 to $46 per hour, depending on turnaround time. 
Um, and the highest pay range of that, which probably would be closer to 46, is for the most urgent deadlines. You have flexible hours, you can work when you want from pretty much any time zone. If you want to apply from outside the US, you can, and you have great colleagues and things like that. So you can apply from just about anywhere and get considered to do proofreading work here for 19 to $46 per hour. Hopefully this was helpful. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you enjoyed this content and you want more of it. And I'll see you in the next video.